Jamie Dimon, CEO of JPMorgan Chase, which is the largest bank in America, has his own beliefs to live by. So we analyzed his behaviors, speeches, and letters to internal employees and came up with 10 tips for success, according to The Billionaire. Before we get started, make sure to like, subscribe, and comment below on which one stands out to you the most, and stick around to see what his number one tip for success is. Number 10, embrace continuous learning. Speaking at the Ohio State University graduation ceremony in 2021, Jamie encourages the students to pursue learning for the rest of their lives. It's your job to constantly learn, and it doesn't end now that you're college graduates. Regardless of what you do in life, to be successful, you need continuous learning and endless intellectual curiosity. I still spend about 50% of my time reading and learning. Number nine, cultivate resilience. Jamie's career wasn't always smooth. In 1998, he was fired from Citigroup after working there for 15 years because of the rising tension between him and Citi's then CEO, Sandy Whale. However, two years later, he became CEO of Chicago-based Bank One, which was later bought by J.P. Morgan Chase. Under Jamie's leadership, J.P. Morgan Chase overcame the Great Recession and gradually became the nation's largest bank. So for him, it is vital to learn from failure. And he reiterated that in his speech to Ohio State University graduates. Your future is bright, but as you grow older, it's inevitable that you will face tough times and failure, both personally and professionally. We all do. How you deal with failure may be the most important thing in whether you succeed. Number eight, lead by example. In a memo that was sent to all J.P. Morgan employees globally, Jamie says that leaders play a critical role in reinforcing culture and running the company businesses. He believes leaders need to demonstrate the values and behaviors you expect from others and inspire their team through their actions and decisions. Jamie asks all senior leaders to be visible on the floor and to meet with clients in person, saying that they need to teach and advise and they should always be accessible for immediate feedback in impromptu meetings. Number seven, assess risks carefully. Success often involves stepping outside of your comfort zone. Don't be afraid to take calculated risks when the potential rewards justify it, but do assess risks carefully. When it comes to management, the Wall Street Titan believes managers should be willing to dismiss employees who aren't a good fit, citing that you must get rid of the bad people, even if it's sometimes a hard decision. Number six, never stop innovating. Innovation drives progress and keeps you ahead of the competition. Jamie believes that fostering a culture of innovation within your organization will encourage creativity, experimentation, and new ideas. Jamie told CNBC in 2024 that there are 200 people at J.P. Morgan Chase doing research on the large language models that have recently been rolled out by tech companies. This is real. For it, safety. It's real, it's very deep, be used in healthcare, it'll save lives, it may invent cancer cures, you know, because it can do things that the human mind simply cannot do. J.P. Morgan Chase has also taken advantage of AI internally, with Jamie saying that AI will eventually be used in almost every job. Under his lead, J.P. Morgan Chase invests $12 billion per year on technology to fuel a team of 50,000 technologists. I would think of more as it's just starting, it'll be used in almost every job. So people are deploying it you know, at different speeds, uh, but it will handle a tremendous amount of stuff. Five down and five more pieces of advice to go. Feeling inspired so far? Well, you don't want to miss Jamie's number one advice for success coming up shortly. Number five, focus on long-term goals. Jamie is not afraid to invest long-term. He thinks keeping our eyes on the big picture and avoiding getting distracted by short-term fluctuations will allow us to achieve long-term goals and work steadily towards them. In Chase's 2022 annual report letter, Jamie said that the future of the economy is dependent on the people willing to put in the effort to work. In the letter, he believes that a transition to a green economy will eventually require $4 trillion a year in capital expenditures. If America turns towards a green economy, Jamie believes there are positive outlooks ahead. He concluded in his report that whatever events play out 20 years from now, America's GDP will be more than twice the size it is today, and hundreds of millions of people around the world will be lifted out of poverty. Number four, take control of your own life. Doing what he wants is outstandingly a personality trait of Jamie. Speaking to Harvard Business School in 2010, Jamie told students there is already a book about your life. 
Don't let others write it for you because it's yours to live. For example, in his early 20s, Jamie was asked to complete some urgent work at Boston Consulting over a weekend and to deliver it first thing on Monday. After the weekend ended, Jamie didn't show up until 1 p.m. When he met with his manager on Monday afternoon, he said he simply wanted to ensure the work was delivered nice and early. But his weekend was ruined, and because of that, Jamie never worked for them again. He took control of his life and later studied at the Harvard Business School to receive his MBA degree. That jump-started his illustrious entrepreneurial career. Number three, be prepared for tough times. As one of the most well-respected Wall Street experts himself, Jamie has predicted several turmoil moments in history that helped investors make wise decisions with a team of employees well-trained working under pressure. Jamie said in a 2015 interview with the Columbus Chamber of Commerce that you can't prepare for when times get tough. He advises that for a war to start, you need an army to fight for you. Tough times will happen. It's about how you react to it. And if you come out of it alive, you will be a better person. Number two, live deliberately. After being diagnosed with throat cancer in 2014, he told a reporter at CNN Money that it changed his value system. Every day, he asks himself why he's CEO of Chase. The reason? He wants to end his day saying, this is a good day. And now for the number one tip of success from Jamie Dimon, family first. Even though Jamie must navigate through the business world, he is adamant to share that family always comes first regardless of what's happening in your career. He encourages his employees to do the same as well. Jamie increasingly backed family-friendly programs over the years, with benefits including financial support for fertility treatment, childcare benefits, and 16 weeks of paid parental leave for all salaried employees. It may sound easier said than done, but we all need a chance to support our families no matter how hard your career gets.